Hello, my name is Daniel Fernandez. I am the owner of scienceinhydroponics.com and today we're gonna be doing the second part of this video about our hydroponic tower project. So today we're going to assemble the entire thing. We're going to plant, we're going to test and we're going to probably fail <laughs> doing some of these things. So first of all, we're going to do a test of the irrigation system before putting the entire system together. Then after we test it and we ensure it works, then we're gonna just assemble the entire thing together. Then we're gonna plant and I'm gonna show you the seeds that we're gonna plant and then we'll set it all up and we're gonna be done. So stay tuned. Okay, so if you remember the last video, I showed you this irrigation thing that I'm using. Now I put some Teflon tape on this adapter here. 
that uh, ensures there's a better seal here. And now when I put it in, so that it works well. Now I'm gonna put this pump here. I fill this with water. And now we'll be able to test whether this will be a failure or not. Now I'm gonna take all of this so that I don't splash water everywhere. So we should see water coming out of here and probably showering me. <laughs> okay. Water and electricity. Okay, so the system is working. You can see these things sprinkling water. So some will be better than others because of the way that I have tangled it, I have it tangled here. But we now need to put the entire thing together and then we'll be able to adjust these things a little bit if need be. So let's start putting it together then. Okay, so we have now finished most of the system setup. So you can see here. And we now have the net pots with the rock wool that we will be using. And now I am going to be putting the seats here to um, basically initiate our experience with this system. Now, the plants that I've chosen to grow first are all plants that have relatively short root systems because I'm worried about the roots clogging the system and then basically flooding the floor here. So this is also why I have a hole here that you saw me cutting. That hole is in case this thing overflows and like drips here, it just recycles back. So that's with that in mind and I can also then do things there, like use instruments to measure things or add water without having to uh, open the entire thing up. Now, the plants I chose uh, to grow in the beginning will be spinach. So I'm going to show you the seeds now. There will be spinach, which you see here, rugula, arugula that you see here, and uh, lettuce, which you see here. I'm not sure what variety of lettuce this is. I think it's like an iceberg type lettuce, but it's just like a normal lettuce. Uh, so lettuce. I am now going to grow uh, to plant uh, three seeds of lettuce, three seeds of arugula, and four seeds of spinach in this system. Watch me. So as you see, we've built a hydroponic tower or something that looks like a hydroponic tower. <laughs> I foresee that we will have some problems. I see right now that this diameter might be too small for some plants that we wanted to grow. And we might be having issues with the wetting of the rock wool cubes, depending on the distribution of the sprinklers that we put inside but hopefully it will work out just fine. So thank you very much for watching this video and well, following us on this journey. We will definitely update you with the progress as the plants germinate and hopefully we'll get some spinach, lettuce and arugula in like a couple of months, hopefully, or everything will die and you'll hear about that. <laughs> so right now the, the seeds are in just plain water. We have plain water circulating through the system and as soon as we have some germination and we get plants and we get good roots, we'll start uh, using hydroponic nutrients. So stay tuned for one more updates. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and LinkedIn. 
we need we have like five followers so please <laughs> thank you very much again for watching i'll see you on the next video and bye bye